Yo, what's up guys, this is Steven. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make dark, simple, and slow melodies that can be pretty much flipped by anyone. So yeah, let's get into it. So before we get started, here's the melody that I'm gonna be breaking down today. So as you can tell, it's super simple. There's only like two sounds in it. And uh, now I'm gonna start breaking down how I came up with the original melody and how I flipped it. So I actually started this idea in FL Studio just because I wanted to get a little idea down in the piano roll. And basically I just grabbed this preset called Lost Dreams from Analog Lab 4. And then I played in some chords and then I just arpeggiated them into a pattern that sounds like this. And for the processing on the sound, I pretty much only used two plugins, and I actually just used two instances of Sketch Cassette, which is one of my new favorite plugins that I've been using in a lot of my recent samples. And so for the first instance, I just used this preset called Outer Space Phone Call. Basically, it just has a little bit of detune, a little bit of flanging, a little bit of compression and saturation, just to make it sound a little bit more vintage. And then in the second instance of Sketch Cassette, I actually added this preset called Earthquake, which is in the experimental folder. As you can see, I turned down the mix to about 20%. And basically this preset just gave it like a crazy detune and saturation, which is why I turned down the mix. And it just makes it sound a little bit more like cheap and old, so yeah. And so after I had that idea, uh, I actually took it to Ableton because I wanted to flip that original melody. And uh, basically what I did is I threw it into Ableton. I just reversed it and half-timed it but the half time was actually manually like stretching it out doubly. And so after I did a bunch of flipping to it and I actually pitched it down a good amount, uh, here's what it sounds like. And as you can tell, I also slowed it down to like 115 BPM. And this is just because I heard kind of like that wheezy bounce on it after I pitched it down and reversed it. And so really the only other things I tweaked with this sound was I just added an EQ to take out some of the low and some of like the harsh mid frequencies in it. And then the last plugin that I added to it was actually Auto-Tune because when I repitched it, it kind of sounded off to me. So I just wanted to make sure that all the notes were in key. And it also gives it like a cool effect when it retunes it because it kind of makes it like crackle a little bit. And then really the only other sound that I added to it was this one shot from a Shanks one shot library. It's just a bass sound that's in the key of C. And I actually did a good amount of processing to this bass. The first plugin that I added was R bass, which I'm sure you guys have seen me use in a lot of my other videos. Uh, it's personally one of my favorite bass plugins just because it adds a little bit more low end. And then the next and then the next plugin that I added, which is also one of my favorites, is Effect Rack by Sound Toys. And I just chose the Devil Lock and the Decapitator. For the Devil Lock, I just chose the preset Junk in the Trunk. And then for the Decapitator, I just used the preset called Roll Off the Highs, and I just turned down the mix to about like 40-50%. And for the sample, I actually used Sketch Cassette on the bass too, which is something I usually don't do. And uh, I just used this preset called Magic Button and turned down most of the effects except for the saturation and the compression because I wanted it to sound like super dark and like really harsh. And the pattern is as simple as it gets. I just have a B playing on the one and the five. And so here's what it sounds like. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for the sample. As I said before, it was a super simple melody, but I can see it being flipped by a lot of different people just because of how simple it is. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, be sure to go check out my new sample library that just dropped. It'll be available in Drumify, and there's going to be a link down in the description. It has 20 of some of my best samples to date, so be sure to go check that out if you want to use some of my samples in your beats. And then other than that, be sure to go follow me on social media at stevenshafer underscore, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.